Looney Farm Guy here with this. This is the Electric Fire Defense by Soci Modding and Nexecly on Farming Simulator 22. This is for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here on Rock Crawl for this test um, or demonstration of this. This is 27.9 megabytes to download, 17 slots on console. It's a fire truck, an electric fire truck. And we'll find it under vehicles and miscellaneous. Here it is, $854,900. Wowzers, uh, 375 horsepower, variable transmission. It uh, It is electric, so 132 kilowatt hour battery, 68 miles per hour, six or 7.6 tons. We have a couple of design options. We have Walder Staten. Uh, Mittenberg, uh, factory foiling, and Bacter Wall. So those three in uh, obviously, I'm going to say German. It does look look very. I'm not a linguistic expert, but it does appear German. Right. Plastic paint. We have our choice between black or white. White looks very odd, if you ask me. Um. But. It is there. Rim color, we have black, we have silver, or chrome. Uh, $1,000 for that, and that's basically the only thing that's going to cost you money. Right, so, let's hop in, uh, get inside, and start it up. Now, it is electric, so it's got an RPM, but it's, well, electric. Um, so, we can drive it around. It drives around very nicely. Let's uh, hop outside. Let's take it for a spin. Now there are a number of options. I just want to see. It's taking its sweet time getting up to the 68 miles per hour. But it is a big, big old fire truck, is it not? And, oh, so it's not tippy, which is nice. It's slidey rather than tippy. So you're not going to go for a tumble necessarily. That's nice. Now that we've used up a little bit of electric charge, let's see if we should be able to charge it up at the uh, electric charging station. I do believe this is, oh no, that's methane, I think. Uh, I thought we had an electric charger on this map somewhere. Uh, I'll find one later, or I'll just, I'll just put one down. How about that? Uh, tools, uh, electric charging station, there we go. Bam. I'm sure we've used a little bit of charge by now. Oh, there it is. See, now it's lit up. So it's, it is charging. And, okay, so. That works. Right. And now as for the... Uh, well, let's take a look at the lights. Um, just basically normal lights. We have uh, signals, reverse, brakes, forward. Very nice. So beacons are the um, that. So that's kind of interesting. It has a big light strip a whole, along the whole top and at the back. So it's just blue, blue and white. Uh, not particularly bright uh, or anything like that. Um, right, so options. Let's turn those off for a moment. L1 and X. So this is interesting. You press that and this comes out from the top. Now there isn't any opening the doors or windows or I, I would have expected some of these side panels to open and stuff like that, but no. So that's what you get when you press the L1 and X. It is a light. Once the light has been deployed, L1 and right stick left and right, you can direct that light left and right. R1 and right stick up and down, you can direct that light 
down or up. So that's kind of what that is all about. So as for features, that's probably the only uh, useful feature of this particular machine. L1 and X lowers it down. It does take a minute. It's not particularly fast. Right, so there are a couple of other options on this vehicle. L1 and up on your D-pad. You can lower the suspension so it's much lower. And L1 and up on your D-pad raises it up. L R1 and X. A nice loud horn, that's nice. So what about a siren? L1 and left on your D-pad. L1 on the left, shuts it off again. So now, a uh, side note to that, I was playing around with it, and at some point it stopped working, and I don't know why, and I couldn't get it working again, so I had to sell it and buy another one. So that could be an issue. I don't know what, I don't know what uh, caused it to stop working. See, we have R1 and down on your D-pad. Vehicle lifting technology. And I don't know what that does. Maybe it makes it go higher? Because now, now I don't have it all. Uh, I, now it's not there. Lower vehicle. Vehicle lifting technology. Yeah, not sure what that is. I don't really know what that is. I don't see anything maybe inside. No. Unfortunately, you don't get another view of in the inside either. The the, the backrest, um, yeah, kind of blocks your view. Uh, everything else seems to be working inside. Um, right, so we do have a couple of other things. Uh, L1, or R1, there we go, R1 and L3 toggle steering mode. So I don't know what steering mode 2 is any different than 1, but 3 is. It automatically directs your wheels to the left, and you can still steer, but when you... It centers it to the left so that it automatically goes to the left, and then toggle steering mode 4 is just automatically to the right so that seems a bit odd to me too why would you want it automatically to turn right when you're when you've let I'm, I'm not touching the steering so just it centers to the right um, so and then toggle steering one. <clears throat> so it's not four wheel steering. The rear wheels don't steer as far as I can tell. Unless it's in a raised vehicle. Does it? I don't think it does anything there either. Bit of an odd, uh, bit of an odd duck this is, but um, oh, here we go. That's where the steering the steering toggle steering right oh there what the okay so now we got doors opening what happened oh that was lower vehicle steering vehicle technology maybe that was oh okay well that didn't appear before okay now we have now we can open everything up. Oh, that's so odd. Why wouldn't it say doors or something? Why is it vehicle lifting technology? Right. Okay. So there, there we have it. That's how you get the doors open. I think the it doesn't, although it doesn't toggle, or it sh doesn't show you when it's on or off. Right. Okay. There's the interior. Uh, that was weird. Apologies for that. Um, right. So that opens. L1 and R1 uh, has everything open up. Vehicle lifting technology. Yeah. Um, right. That wasn't there before. 
Um, cool. All right. Still weirder stuff. Uh, it does have a hitch on the back. Do we still have our... Oh, yeah, we still have our siren. So, ball hitch. So, it's not totally useless. You can hook up a, uh, a trailer to it, and it has a light. So, uh, it is uh, useful for pulling trailers. And... So, ball hitch and pin hitch. And uh, if you pop that light off that on the top, you can have a uh, well-lit area. And I think that has everything covered. Right. So there you have it. That's the Electric Fire Defense by Sosi Modding and Nurix Eki. 27.9 megabytes to download and 17 slots on console. Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy. And remember, it's only a game. So till next time... Bye for now.